The Titan Clockman has been upgraded. Is this the second upgrade? I'm not sure. First or second upgrade? Landscape page, pencil eraser, hip pause will go too fast. We're going to start with his head. Now, clock people have circles, right? And they're perfect circles. So if you have a stencil or a compass or something that will help you draw those perfect circles, work away. Or you can try freehand. Start it there anyway. And like the bottom of it would be there. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to attempt to make a circle out of this. Go. Right. Doesn't have to be perfect now. Just tidy up the lines a little bit. Circles are always tricky. Bah. <laughs> I'll hold my breath doing these. So, then you got like edge lines and stuff inside, right? So you just go like around again. You're just kind of like tracing around the inside shape. And then there's a spiral inside there and then I think another circle well we'll try the spiral so it goes here you have to do the sound effects as well obviously right and it's not like a perfect spiral around but we'll go I think it joins the edge of it then, the rim part. It goes down into there. Right, and then there's like an edge line to all this. So it goes. Go around again. I think it just joins this line somewhere there. I'm trying to tidy it up now. Make it a bit cleaner. Right, and then there's like, there's all Roman numerals and stuff inside here. So like, you know, like V, VI, <clears throat> and there's like dots, circles that like cut some of them off. Like a double. Now, if you want, you don't have to. Copy me or anything. I think it goes like back in time. So there's all like different marks and stuff in there. And it's like X. Right, so then his helmet, right? So we kind of got these edge things here. I'm gonna kind of simplify things a little bit, right? So this comes out that way, <clears throat> down to there. There's like these little wings on the side of his head. And then the top of it just goes up <clears throat> over the top. And then there's like a fin here. Sticks up the middle. <clears throat> Goes down. And has all these sort of detail lines and stuff on them, of course, as well. 
then the helmet comes down the side <coughs> kind of sticks out a little bit here curve around for the wings on the other side <coughs> And then there's like a cap, <clears throat> sort of a line on the top here. And then there's like certain vents and edge lines to things. When you're drawing like mechanical things, edge lines like this and little scratches and stuff. <laughs> Make it look a little bit more realistic. <clears throat> so like little boxes and things inside. You know, metal studs that like weld everything on. Okay, that's his head in this pose anyway. <clears throat> So then there's like, we'll work our way down. So there's like these sort of buckets here. They're kind of like cylinders with like lines on them going that way. And like metal studs. This is a really complicated drawing now. So if I move too fast, just slow things down. Hit pause. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice, it's a bit crackly. I've been talking a lot. That goes that way, and then there's another sort of barrel on top. <clears throat> and then more vents on the side here, it looks like. <clears throat> okay, so I'll just get like his shoulder armor plates in. Kind of like they kind of like bump down this way. There's all details on them as well. But I'll just draw the main shape for the moment. And we can come back. <clears throat> so that's what that looks like, I think. This is, yeah, that goes up, around. Okay, so he's got these like wings on his shoulder pads. And then like swords on his back. So like barrels here, right? And each of these has like a little sort of weapon sticking out of it. Looks like a blade. So I'm gonna guess. Is it a blade? Yeah, perhaps. It's spiking out here. Okay. And then these have kind of like edge drawn into them. And there's like three on each side. So we just draw the sort of connector that it comes out of. And then there's like a little gold place or something here. And then the sword itself let me just keep sort of doing these and there's three on the other side as well They're kind of real shiny yellow. And the other three are here, so. <clears throat> Give them an edge, you're sort of following around.
last one then on this side. And then there's like an old clock <clears throat> just hanging out on his back, right? So it was open, gets pointy on top here. There's like little details on the sides of it. top of it as well. It's kind of cut off at the top. So I can imagine what it looks like. Sort of edge lines around all these. You're just sort of trying to make the illusion of detail. You know, you're not sort of actually detailing everything. You're just sketching it out, sort of simplifying things. So <clears throat> we get like the main shape for his body and then the sword, right? So say like his chest armor going here, roughly unarmored creatures. That's what's happening anyway. So and he's got like some barrels and stuff, but we'll just go sort of in there, right? There's another circle in here. We get that in. There's all cogs and things and wheels around this. I won't be able to do all of them, obviously. But I'll do some of them. And this is like a shiny sort of orb. So it looks like it's got electricity or something inside of it. And he's got like little boxes and stuff that stick up from this, like under his neck and everything. And there's more detail around that, but we'll just add sort of like his waist has <coughs> little barrels on it here with spikes coming out of them. <coughs> and the other waist is covered by the sword. But there's like, a, his armor goes that way. It looks like a belt maybe. There's like a clasp or something. There. Right, and his arm then, so his like his bicep and tricep armor is here. Right, but it stops sort of halfway because of what I would call yeah, the sword going that way. He's a sword, I think. And his arm then comes down. And he has some sort of weapon on his Shoulder, so there's more shoulder armor here. Maybe there's a weapon sticking off here, so I'll just get the main shape for that in. Something like that. And then this comes down off the page. And his hand is, is holding the sword here, so it's just like his thumb, maybe. So I'm just getting like scribbling in sort of main shapes and then we'll detail them up as we go. I'll just get the sword in now. So you might need a ruler for the sword part, right? Because it's quite straight. So we got like going all the way back to his hand here and up this way. So it's pointy here, a little arrow pointing this way. And then this will go like all the way back. So we're like right underneath this circle, okay? Boom. <clears throat> and there's lots of ruins and details and stuff in this, but we'll try and simplify it a bit. So this goes down, like in, and then goes out again, out again, and then down, down. There's another arrow here. I don't need the ruler for this, I don't think. Okay. That 
way. Okay, and then, so that should probably go back in somewhere to there. And there's another, so there's a line that goes down the blade there, and then there's a black arrow in the middle. This seems to follow that then. And then we go in again, in again here, and then out. Like that. Okay, so there's like a clockwork circle thing down here, so going into the handle. Like a cog with like lots of circles inside. You could draw as many of these circles now as you want. You don't have to draw them all. And then these sort of wheel cogs. Like this sort of going around. And then some more details just on the sword here. Now there is like golden lines and all sort of energy stuff. But that might be a bit too complicated, I think, given how complicated it is so far. So I'll just draw this line sort of down the middle. And then the handle of it seems to go into the thumb. Right, so then, so like his, the sword has like another sort of thing here, like wings or something. <clears throat> and then his like body kind of like goes off down this way. There's like all spikes and weapons and stuff on his waistband and his legs. So like, looks like a leg goes that way. Like there's some leg armor here, and then his leg goes off that way, and his other leg goes that way. And then his fist sort of comes down here, and he's got like armor around the fist, and like guns, pipes and stuff. Like his fist in there, I think. Hard to make it out, but that must be a finger. And his thumb goes back that way somewhere. There's all armor and stuff on his fingers and everything, so. Another pipe over here. And then like something else on the back of his arm there. So. That's pretty much it. You could you could do more shapes and objects if you want. Like there's some stuff at the back, but it's not really clear. Like rockets and stuff. <clears throat> but I'm going to start detailing up all this stuff now. So I'm going to start adding like armor plating. That overlaps, right? So like edge lines to all this. 
all overlapping one another. I'm going to break all this up into like circles and wheels and pipes and different pieces of metal. So. Edge lines are what make things look sort of a bit more detailed as well. So breaking, trying to break up the space basically inside each of these sections. This is like some sort of a circle here and a spike there and then like edge lines to all these. Does that sword have another circle on it? I'm not sure. Hard to see. So that's one arm. Like you could add like textures and scratches and stuff to make the metal look like beat up a little bit as well if you wanted. <clears throat> um, but we got like, let's see, there's like a couple of pipes or something here. I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna guess there's like something here a wheel or a cog. I can't do all the cog shapes, unfortunately, because they're so small. So we'll go and do our own sort of style metal stuff. We we'll just kind of break up all this chest armor to different sort of. shapes and I think there I, I can put two sort of barrels or pipes or something in here all right right but mainly we'll just break up his chest armor into like chest armor shapes because that's complicated. And then he has like layers of circles or clocks or something down here, like they go the whole way around his, his waist, right? So there's all these circles here. It must take ages to design these things. Circle, 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 circle. And then like on his leg, there's all this armor plating as well. we could add around here maybe and there's all like chains and stuff dangling here and then we have some more shoulder armor They look cool, but they're hard to draw, I must say. Always are, these titans. They're so complicated. It's hard to get everything in, you know. You could draw for ages and just keep finding more and more details that we missed. So 
just adding edge lines to these things now. I'm trying to be sort of selective in what I'm doing. Get the essence of it. You know, you don't need to like do everything. Some people obviously would. <clears throat> Bicep armor here, then. So it's always a struggle to know when to give up, <laughs> when to like say that's enough. So this fist is there. I don't think there's any, there's like more spikes. And I think there's another pipe here, hold on. I think these go all around this arm. It's like a gun thing. Some more sort of spikes here. And this is like shiny energy on in this. So it's not really much of anything. That would have to be with color to make that shiny, so I can't do it with line. Right, I think I'll have to leave it there. That is the new Titan Clockman. Hope it's helpful. Complicated, I know, but I hope it helps someone. You can keep adding like loads of gears and cogs and circles and stuff all in here, like all day. There's so many. But I'll leave it there. Hope it's helpful anyway. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.